Good morning, brave investigators, and welcome back to the channel. I am Amalgamash, and today we are continuing our playthrough of Timo's Endless Devotion, a game made in Smile Game Builder and submitted to the Summer 2023 Game Jam. We have just narrowly avoided our landlord, uh, and now we are going through our complicated, our needlessly, inexplicably complicated network of air ducts. It's an exit, all right, but one that leads into your neighbor's apartment. I have no idea if there's no problem with that. Just go right in. Say hi. Return that cup of sugar we borrowed. It was very kind of them to let us borrow it. We all know. We all know that we didn't go there just to borrow sugar. Okay. Uh, but to make friends. Take the first right now. It's a winding path. Oh my God. We can dash while we're going through the tunnels. We can straight up dash through the tunnels. Meow. Why? Where does the air have to go? Oh my gosh. It's an exit, but not the right one, but you're getting closer. Okay. I have a feeling that the exit that I need is probably very, very close. Is that it? Not your exit, but you're getting very close. Okay. So probably that one. Yep, that's the one. Uh, what if I go the other way, though? Nope, this isn't your exit either. I missed something, though. I missed something. Uh, let's go. Let's go down that last path that I did not go down uh, real quick. So if I could just remember which way I went. I really like that uh, Timo included this segment in the game. I think that it's hilarious. It's so fun. It's so fun to have this. Whoops. Uh, I should be getting really close to a sort of hall-like area. Yes. I came out the left side. Oh, that's fun. Okay. And then there's this, this, where does this go? Oh, straight up. Oh, there's no message attached to that one. I just get, oh, that's me going back. That's me going back. That's why I thought I came out the left. I actually came out the right. Let's go to the front and examine the ways out here. We have a straightforward vent. It's an exit, but not the one you need. And then down this last path is a path that bends, and then there we go. Another exit to a neighbor's apartment. You're a private investigator, not a trespasser, unless we're talking about entering Mariah's apartment without permission. <laughs> Which we totally didn't do. Uh, Mariah is safe. You're, you're, you're probably getting tired of seeing vents, so we're going to skip ahead. Okay, there's the exit. Liam, it goes against everything I stand for, but we need that money, Jake. I think with the evidence we have gathered so far, we should be able to make an educated guess about the person who poisoned Nile. Thank you for making time for us, Charlotte. Oh, we are just getting right into it. No problem. You told me you know who poisoned Nile? That's right. According to our investigation, the one who poisoned Nile is none other than... Oh, no. I could get a game over for this if I'm wrong. So, I don't think that it was Gladys. I think that... I think that it's possible that it could be... I think it's possible that it could be Mariah. Because she wanted Niall. Okay? And she's really quiet. And she knows that, you know, Leona and Charlotte... Le Leona's obsessed with Charlotte. Either, either she wants to be with Leona or she wants to be with Niall. And she wants Charlotte out of the picture. So she decided to try to poison Charlotte. But she ended up poisoning Niall, and if if it tracks that she wants to be with Niall, then perhaps she poisoned herself, sending herself to the hospital after being found unconscious in the bathroom. Let's go with that, and let's choose Mariah. She's stricken with grief. That that's my that's my reasoning. That's her mo here. Are you sure it's Mariah who poisoned Niall? Seems like our dear Mariah had quite the scheme up her sleeve. All along, she had her sights set on Niall, and her little plan involved poisoning you. 
Oh, how sinister. Mariah hoped that Niall, seeking solace in his time of need, would turn to her, unaware of her devilish intentions, but fate had a twisted sense of humor. Niall, obvious, oblivious to the treachery unfolding around him, accidentally ingested the very poison meant for you. Talk about a Shakespearean twist. And how did Mariah respond to this tragic turn of events? Well, she decided to join the almost deadly dance herself, taking a sip of the poisonous elixir. It's like a page ripped straight out of a dark romance where love and poison intertwine in a deadly waltz. But fear not, if I had hired these guys and he started spouting off like this, I would have been like, stop it, get to the point, we need to call the police. But fear not, for I, the detective extraordinaire, have unraveled this web of deceit. The evidence is clear, the puzzle solved. Mariah's wicked plan, her ill-fated attempt at love has come crashing down. The evidence is clear, the puzzle solved. Mariah's wicked plan, her ill-fated attempt at love has come crashing down. I think I just read that. Justice shall be served and the truth shall be prevail. This is just another chapter in the dark and twisted world of crime. A world where passion and betrayal collide. And I, with my sharp wit and unyielding determination, will ensure that the scales of justice tip in the right direction. <sighs> Jake and Liam sit side by side at their desks, the room filled with an air of accomplishment. They've made enough money with this case to rent their office for at least another month. The salt case lies before them, a testament to their unwavering determination. Their eyes meet a silent acknowledgement passing between them. Jay, Liam, my dear friend, we've done it. Another mystery unraveled, another victory to our names. Aye, Jake. We make a formidable duo, you and I. The world is ours to conquer. As their gazes linger, a realization dawns upon them. They share a deep connection, a bond that extends beyond mere friendship. Liam, I must confess, as we unraveled the case, a different puzzle unraveled within me. When I saw you with Carlos, uh, what I meant to say is, in the depths of our investigation, jealousy reared its head. Their eyes lock, a mix of vulnerability and desire swirling between them. Then, dear Jake, let us acknowledge the truth that lies before us. It is not Carlos, but you who holds my heart. Our paths have intertwined, entangled in a dance of friendship, trust, and something more. Let us not deny the feelings that have grown within us. With hesitant hands, they reach for each other, their fingers intertwining in a silent declaration. Their lips meet in a tender, passionate kiss, an affirmation of their newfound love. <sighs> their hearts beat in unison, their souls merging as the world around them fades into an insignificance. This was not going to be uh, evident by just playing the last two games, but it was pretty clear from kind of the direction this was going that this was, this was going to be the ending. In that stolen moment, they discover a love deeper than any mystery they could have encountered. As they part, their eyes shimmer with newfound clarity and understanding. Liam, love, let us embrace this truth. Together, we shall face the world side by side, hand in hand. Jake, my heart's compass, I'm yours. Let our love be the guiding light as we continue solving mysteries and sharing a love that defies expectations. So, that is the end of our next chapter. Niall miraculously made a full recovery. Despite things, I hope that Mariah did as well. He wasn't aware of Mariah's affection. After hearing what her friends were up to, Charlotte decided it was best to cut all ties with Leona and Gladys. Mariah is still in a coma. This game was made for Malgamash as the Smile Game Builder Summer 2023 Game Jam. Thank you for playing my game and thank you, Malgamash, for hosting the jam. Thank you for this amazing entry and another chapter in the brilliant series of Liam Davies, Private Investigator. Um... I want to check out what would happen if I accused the other people. So I'm going to do that. The one who poisons Nile is none other than... We're going to go with Leona just to see what happens. Are you sure it's Leona? Yes. Are you serious? Why would I try to poison Charlotte? I love her. I may have given killing Nile some thought, but I just want to see Charlotte happy. Oh, that's it. <laughs> we just get a typical game over. All right. All right. So that is enough of endless devotion. I, I would like to accuse the last one, but I actually like her. I, I don't have the heart to accuse her. Or do I? According to our investigation, it's none other than Gladys. And that's because her name spelled backwards is Sid Alg. And there's nothing more suspicious than that. Are you sure it's Gladys who poisons Nile? Yes. I'll wipe that charming smile off of your lovely face. So I may have beaten Charlotte up with a bat and keyed her car. May have gotten her fired once or thrice. 
Anne have shared the street sheets with her dad, uncle, and brother out of revenge for what she said about Lorenzo. Wow. Get you a stalker fan like Gladys. <sighs> Holy crap. But I'm not a murderer. And that, my friends, is that. Thank you again to Timo for devoting this game, devoting the time into this for the jam. I'm so glad that I could re- play and devote myself to earning the other endings. I hope you enjoyed. Comment anything you'd like down below. I'm looking very much forward to the next chapter in the lives of Liam Davies, private investigator, and his assistant, Jake. Until then, have a great rest of your day. Bye for now.